Welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. This is again one of 13 looks that I am putting out for the month of October. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any other looks. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is start off with a transition shade. After that, I took a orange shade, smoked it out. And then I went in pretty heavy handed with a red shade and a smaller detailing brush. I am a sucker for a warm smoky eye. So you know when I'm doing glam, I gotta have that warm smoky eye. After that, I took some black eyeshadow and just kind of created this halo effect by stamping this black eyeshadow with a fluffy blending brush on the inner and outer part of my lid. And then I just softly blended out the edges with a orange shadow and a fluffy blending brush. I took some shimmery shadow, put it in the middle of my eyelid, and then I put it on my inner corner and my brow bone. After that, I took some bronzer and really just cut out my cheekbones and my forehead. We want to be bronzy. And then I went in and did my eyebrow. Apply some blush because you know your girl needs to be flush and bashful. And then I went in pretty heavy handed again with highlighter. Your girl needs to glow. Apply a wing. And this glam, seriously guys, is so easy, but it gets a point across, which is what I like. Apply about 15 layers of mascara. Next thing that I went ahead and did was take a cotton ball and I saturated in some liquid latex. This gets messy. So whoever said glam wasn't messy was lying. Yeah, it is a disaster. Then I went ahead and took some cotton, rolled it out into this long piece. This is gonna be what attaches your eyeball to your actual socket, just like that. Apply some liquid latex to that, and then attach it again with some liquid latex. It's messy, you guys. Whoever said it wasn't, they lying to you. And just so you know, I hate cotton balls, so that is why I am making this face the entire time. Go ahead and apply some false lashes to your glam eye. Some big lashes. The bigger, the better. All right, so this is when I started to mess up. I started to go in with a cotton ball to protect my eye, and then I started applying skin tape. So this is like surgical tape, like stuff you put on wounds. Um, it won't rip out your hair, which is why I'm using it. But I actually realized that I made this way bigger than I wanted to. So after this part, you will see that I rip everything off and completely start over. That is why it says do not follow these steps in big, red, bold letters. I'm just showing you guys this because we all make mistakes. This whole video is all trial and error. I don't really practice any looks before I record them. I just kind of go in. But now let's get started on the part where we actually didn't mess up. So I went ahead and applied some cotton to my eye. And then I put some of that surgical skin tape over the top. This part be very careful with. You do not want to apply any liquid latex in your eye where it will damage it or anything like that. Safety first with all of these looks. Liquid latex in your eye will hurt and be very careful with it around your eyebrow. I actually, once I kind of started doing this, I realized that it was a lot easier to actually soak the cotton in liquid latex prior. So I kind of made these little sausages dunk them in the liquid latex and then applied it to that area. And basically what you want to do is build up the entire outer edge of where that skin adhesive is and that skin tape is to kind of create a ring so that the inside is kind of like a little hollowed out area. See how much better that looks? It's not nearly as big as it was before. Your girl went a little crazy. Right here, I'm just trying to lightly remove the liquid latex that I got in my eyebrow because your girl messed up and she likes to live in the fast lane. But don't get it in your eyebrows or else you may not have eyebrow hair. Now I am applying my eyebrow pomade to my other brow, which 
Again, I should have done before, but like I said, your girl messes up. It happens. After that, I applied the eyeball to the wound on our eye and then attached the eyeball to the actual string. Yeah, that sounds gross. But the actual string with some liquid latex. Just like that. Yes! Now I went in with some water activated paints and started to kind of color in the eyeball area, the wound, the socket. That's the word I'm looking for. But you don't need to be real neat with this. I just went in first with a red, orange, and white mixture and just kind of lightly went over everything and then I went in with a black paint water activated paint not actual paint don't be using real paint on your eyeball and again this doesn't need to be neat and then I'm taking some purple black and white and I'm mixing it together to add it to that as well at this point I realized it's gonna be difficult to paint that eyeball so I ended up just ripping off the eyeball and then painting it that red white and orange mixture when it was actually off of me and then later adding prosade to stick her on. Next, I'm going in and blending out all of the edges with some foundation. And now for the fun part, the blood. The first thing that I went in with was one of those cheap cosmetic sponges and some blood gel. And then I went in with my favorite Ben Nye Scab Blood. What's so nice about this scab blood, you guys, is you can actually use it to your advantage to help cover up any imperfections, lines, stuff like that. So wherever the edges may not be 100%, girl, just add blood. When in doubt, blood it out. After that, I went ahead and applied my eyeball with some Prosade stuck her into place and then I added some blood onto my eyeball. I actually didn't even like draw a pupil or anything onto this eyeball. I just left it plain white so you do what you want to do. I figured why not just leave it plain white. You still get the effect but it's much much easier especially if you're not good at drawing. This is a look that even if you're new to special effects it's a really easy look to do. Yes. More blood the better. All right, you guys, after that, I just applied my wig, some nude liquid lipstick, and then my favorite faux septum piercing. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Make sure that you tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you do end up recreating this. I love you guys so much. Make sure that you do subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next makeup look. Again, 13 for October, so stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.